Anyone need motion sickness pills? I have them out. and this is when I started feeling sick. But Cassis was awesome. The town itself was really cool. Cassis, probably my favorite place so far of the trip. hiking to the Kalanks um, in Cassis and it was really really hot and it was treacherous and we ran out of water but um, we ended up making it up quite a ways and we had sandwiches and cherries. Joe, myself, and Becky went and we swam in one of the Kalanks, and it was freezing. It was ice cold. What do you guys think of it? Beautiful. Just like the res. <laughs> like McBride. It's up there. Nice. Becky, what do you think? It's pretty spectacular. The hike has been worth it. How about the swim? How about the swim? The swim was really cold, but really worth it. Salty? It was cold. Was it salt salty? water. It was cold. I didn't join the topless swimmers though. Chose to bypass on that, not be quite that local. I didn't notice any topless swimmers. <laughs> Joe was oblivious. Joe was oblivious. <laughs> the water know. was cold. He was still recuperating from the climb up and down. What about the hike? The hike has been somewhat challenging. Joe? Yeah, yeah, brutal. Brutal. <laughs> brutal. Enough said. Enough said. Enough said. What do you think about the town of Cassis? It's very nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of a tourist little town. Lots of sailboats, lots of big boats, lots of money. 7.5 beer. <laughs> That's all Joe cares about. Cute little coastal town. Nick, anything you want to add? Very nice. Joe Bar? Oui.
Mm -hmm. Becky? That's about it. What we're looking at up here, this is the quarry. We're going down to the bottom of the quarry, down around, but all of this is a old quarry. Okay, we're about halfway down the quarry now. There's the cliffs of the quarry and the trees that we were pointing to, but here's where the water has come in, or the water inlet with a few boats. This is the quarry. We're now down in the bottom of the quarry. These cliffs, this, that's how far we came down. You can't see them down there because it's, well, you saw the earlier shot, so that's where we came from and we came down to here. So, again, there's the cliff. In case you missed it the first yeah. time. Thanks, Steph. Give us a wave, Beck. This is where we, okay, this is the quarry again. And you can see down at the very end, that's the path we started at and we came down back in. The hike was awesome. It was so beautiful and the views were spectacular and the water was so blue and like this aqua color and it was so clear. It was amazing. It was so, so beautiful. So after we left Cassis, Rob and Christy left before us and we came back and um, the Krobes and I went to a Sam's Club styled grocery store. It was massive. They had everything you needed there. And then we went to McDonald's. It was supposed to be comfortable and easy and it was far worse than we could have expected. We caused chaos and we made, we somehow caused all the machines to shut down. And yes. <laughs> Tuesday, I felt like crap. And I didn't do anything, but it was kind of nice to just relax all day while they all went to the market. And I just hung around the beautiful house. Becky, myself, Rob, and Christy went to this huge farmer's market. It was massive. And then we came back here to our house in Karam. And We had American Night. Way to go, Joe. American Night was great. American Night was Joe's idea. We had hot dogs, hamburgers no potato salad or baked beans, but it was awesome, it was really fun, it was an easy meal, it was the comfort we did not receive from McDonald's. Got a picture of Reagan above my fire, next to the deer, I shot with my rifle, and all right, hell yeah, I support them, no pro-choice, no abortion, Mexicans send them back over the border, right on home to Samoa, wherever they come from, they're taking our jobs, eating our hamburgers, taking our jobs. They're taking our jobs. I see them in the field. I'm taking their head off. I hate my job and I hate my boss, but I love my country and I pray to God that the Cowboys win. Fuck yeah, Romo! If the Cowboys win. Tell everyone. About, oh, tell everyone what today is. Night is. Night day Americano. That doesn't make much sense to say American night in French. It's American night. In province. Yeah. Okay. Hold my lawn, sit on the couch, and I'ma watch the football. And I pray to the Lord the Cowboys win and beat the hell out of them damn Redskins. Cause the boys can drunk as shit. Goddamn right, I'm a mirror. Yes? Yes? There you are. Hey. <laughs>